Hello Space Cats! So there we have it, the first direct visual evidence of a supermassive black hole. This is not Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. But if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, you'll see that it's not far off from the predictions that we made. This black hole lives at the heart of M87, a massive galaxy in the nearby Virgo cluster of galaxies, 55 million light years away from the Earth. This black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of our Sun. It is a monster in comparison to the black hole at the center of our galaxy, which is only 4 million times the mass of our Sun. In fact, it's one of the heaviest black holes that we know of. The primary target of the Event Horizon Telescope is the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. And whilst there's many supermassive black holes that we know of in the universe, they're just too far away for our telescopes to resolve. And that's with the exception of M87 supermassive black hole. We know that the size of a black hole is proportional to its mass. And so, because M87's black hole is so heavy, we also knew it was going to be very, very large. And that's why it became the second target. When we zoom into the radio, what we're seeing are rings of gravitationally lens light from the hot plasma whizzing around the black hole. The black hole casts its silhouette on this glowing radiation. And the size of this silhouette corresponds to the event horizon, the point of no return. But we're not seeing the event horizon itself. No, we're just seeing just outside of the event horizon, a place that we call the last photon orbit. This gravitational lensing is so strong that it doesn't matter which angle we look at the black hole, we still see these rings of gravitationally lensed light. We've known about M87's black hole for a very long time now. It's radio loud, it's an active black hole. So we've not just observed it in radio. In the X-rays, we've seen it with ESA's XMM Newton and NASA's Chandra mission. In optical, we have Hubble, and you can see these giant optical jets. These jets are so powerful that they can shape the entire intracluster gas within the Virgo cluster of galaxies of which it lies in. The resolution, the smallest size that we can see, is equal to the wavelength divided by the size of the telescope. The Event Horizon Telescope has a resolution of 20 micro arc seconds. That's like being able to see an orange placed on the surface of the Moon from Earth. The M87's black hole has a size of 40 micro arc seconds. So even with a telescope the size of the Earth, we can only just about resolve it. To do better, we would have to build more telescopes, have a smaller wavelength, or make it an even larger radio dish. But that would mean building radio dishes on places like the Moon. It's difficult to repiece all the information from all the different radio telescopes, because the signal arrives at those radio dishes at all different times. But not only that, this one image is created from 5 petabytes of data. That's like 5 million gigabytes of data. It is so much data that the scientists had to store it on hundreds of hard drives. And it was much quicker to transport this data by person than it was to download it over the internet. The scientists are hard at work processing the image of our galaxy. I think they need some more data, but hopefully it's going to come soon. What did you think of the photo? Did you like it as much as I did, or did you think it was overhyped and a bit lame? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe.